So something that I've noticed that you do really well is you kind of embed yourself into the brand team. You are not an attachment that is distant and remote and contracted. You kind of embed yourself and you become a part of that team, or at least that's that, that seems the way that you go about it. And some of the interesting conversations that I've heard you have are maybe about budgeting and shifting budgets around from different places in the business, things that could not be done if we all operate in our silos. If the ads team just does the ads, well, the search team and the media team, and then the commerce team, and we all just stay in our silos, you know, you might have a fine business, but there's a lot of flexibility and there's a lot, a lot of ways to make impact by having relationships across functional teams. Can you talk a little bit about the way that you do that without giving away you know, who we're talking about, but I'm just curious, how, how did you know that that is important and maybe a specific example of how that's been useful? Yeah, I'd, I'd say the, I don't know, I, at first that's just kind of how I operate. It's not good for uh, workload. <laughs> I definitely spent too many hours on, on businesses, generally speaking. Um, just because I, I think an agency world, um, no matter what part of the business you're in, driving success is you know priority number one, and so you just have to, you know, I always say you have to be a grinder. It's like an Amazon mentality, mm-hmm. is you just have to get it done. It doesn't matter when it is. Yeah. Um, so I, I think it's important to invest in the one-on-one relationship with the points of contact. Um, that has that allows you to understand. What are their personal KPIs? Mm-hmm. Um, how are they bonused? Um, what do what do their what does their leadership want to see? Uh, I love to meet with the finance, product supply, those types of people to help them understand what we do and why it matters. And and in the future, that allows you to have that trust with them. They have the understanding of what you do, um, and then they know. Okay, that, that that this person's priority is to drive our business in this way. Right. Um, you know, this is. It's really applicable for us because we have uh, Pack Through Commerce. We have all these solutions for different people in, uh, with, you know, within a, within a brand. Mm-hmm. And uh, having met them in the past allows me to understand who does what at the company, how they think, um, what do they care about, and, and then position something to them as here's this great solution that we offer. Um, we can do this this type of automation. Uh, I can set up this type of reporting for you uh, with minimal extra lift on my end uh, in the future. Mm-hmm. I created that relationship, understand what they care about, um, and then I can solve things proactively for them in the future. 